Welcome back to the channel. Day seven of our Canada tour. This is awesome. What happened to day six? Well, I got to tell you, as we've talked about before with fate, right? Uh, the girls decided in our first Airbnb that it only had one bathroom. Not a good idea. So we had to change to this log cabin. And as fate would have it, we had an extra day to tour around. But we didn't use it. We just stayed in the cabin because it was pouring cats and dogs all day long. Got some groceries, started a fire, made some good grub, and just relaxed for day six. That was really, really, really a good time. And yeah. I think the girls enjoyed that. We, we did. did. We, we did. I we think just, it was needed, actually. Yeah. We the... lounged, recharged, played games, um, yeah. sat by the fire. Guys made us some great meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Had and popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually a good recharge yeah. day. We're going to head to Kamloops today. We're going to run through Jasper. It's going to be a great ride. Get down to Kamloops and, uh, you know, it's going to be a wonderful day. And I think the weather's going to be with us. So, hey, stay tuned. The action's starting now. Boom. What's happening back there? I think Josh's head cam got fried out from the rain. Uh, I'm just cruising, man. This is so good for the soul just to be out here with my good friends riding motorcycles, looking at this beautiful country, my friend. Well, I'm super bummed that we're, we've got this smoke in, in this canyon here. We're, we just entered into Jasper, the 16 West absolutely beautiful country but the cool thing is it's gonna make us want to come back I think you know so we can check it all out I agree and you know I, I'm loving the fact that Laura and Teresa are really having a great time <laughs> well we're gonna make our way down into Kamloops it should be a beautiful ride we've got about four hours to go I think we'll probably take a little longer than that just because we'll pull out and do some shots but absolutely beautiful yeah I mean we've had some sunshine we've had some rain we've had some haze but all in all it's working out exactly how it's supposed to yeah and we've seen a lot of different wildlife we've seen bear we've seen elk deer mountain goats we saw a little beaver back there in the pond cruising through kind of cool to see that stuff out here very cool anyway i'm uh, i'm enjoying the scenery so let's uh keep on cruising and uh, we'll probably see everybody at lunch yep let's do it later down that road Canada. And what's the restaurant here? Oh, it's a login pub. Best burgers around. Best yes. burgers around. Yep. What do we have, ladies? Best cheeseburger. Best burger around town. Oh. What Is do you it? think? I'm uh, bomb. What are you rating it? 8.7. Okay. <laughs> Try it, LC. Mustard and onions. Let's see. Mm. What are you rating? I mean, I'll give it a 9 because we have really good flavor, man. Really good nine. flavor. I'm going to 8.5. 8.5. Uh, All right. Nine. Nine. What are you rating nine. it? Nine? Mm -hmm. I'll be the judge what, of well, this. Well. Oh, good stuff. Eight and a half. Kind of like you made it on your own, your, yeah. your own in your own kitchen. Yeah. You threw it on your barbecue, but really good. There you have it. Let's eat. What'd you do there? Two Lane Life 2023 Canada Tour. US dollar going on the wall. Hey, Larry, if you're watching this, Great burger. Yeah. Well, finished up uh, lunch at the log in. How was that? That was pretty good. That uh, was pretty simple. Like all they do is chips and like a nice burger. And they have a cooler with drinks. I enjoyed mine. It, it definitely good, had good flavor and, and, and I'm glad we stopped here. I feel like they cooked it on the same rill as like the chicken or something. It had a really unique flavor I can't quite put my finger on, but it well, was good. I, I asked him and he said, Larry, the guy that owns this place, was a ranch hand at one point and the cook 
on the ranch had this recipe, so it's kind of been passed down to Larry. And I can't quite explain it either, but it was pretty unique and really good. And again, if you don't go, you won't know. So when you go, you learn all kinds of cool stuff. Well, what's next, huh? We're headed down to Kamloops. We've got about two hours, it's gonna be easy. I like it. <laughs> <Down the road. laughs> What's happening, buddy? We're cruising down this beautiful two lane, looking at the white clouds up there. There is a little haze in the sky, and sometimes when you're out on the open road, stuff like this, you never know what kind of conditions uh, you're gonna get. We're going on the five south, headed to Kamloops. Uh, we'll be there, and it looks like about 74 miles as the nav is showing. You know, I, I can make out the beauty when we're close to it, but I know it's much more spectacular than what we've seen, but I do love these roads. I love that there's two lanes and we're just cruising and we're out and and it feels like we're just almost in the u.s quite frankly that's the fun thing about it is we're still on the open road we don't stop doing it but the ever-changing landscape is always what i like to see from going from trees to open meadows and there is a lot of water here even though they're in a drought there still is bodies of water that kind of blow my mind well, look, and there's all this uh, pipeline. We were wondering what the, the, the destruction of the hillsides, it's not really destruction. They're methodically moving through these areas and replacing old pipeline and adding new. Pretty interesting to see how big a project this is. It's huge and it must employ a lot of people. You got these little country homes off the side of the road, all kinds of stuff going on. Love it, man. Yeah, I don't know what the sentiment is here, but I was talking to a guy up the road and he's like, I think it's going from Ed Edmonton all the way to Vancouver. Wow. So a big, big project, but let's work our way into Kamloops. And uh, that's another new town we've not been in. You got the beautiful river next to us. Work our way in there and call it a night. Enjoy a nice dinner tonight. All right, sounds good to me. See you there. So we pulled up to what we thought was gonna be the hotel for the night. Galen, let's uh, let's see what happened. Well, we booked at the Residence Inn Conference Center, all right? So we're pulling around and we're going through campus and I'm like, what's going on here? We pull up and there's not like any signage on the building. Walk in, there's like locked doors. I thought we were going into a hospital. I even said it over the comms. And you've seen hospitals. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I walk up and I'm like, what's going on? She's like, well, this is student housing, but for four months during the summer, we open up as a hotel. And I'm like, can we see the rooms? <laughs> Man, if I was a college student, dope. <laughs> but I'm an old guy. I need a place to sleep. I don't need a dorm room with a bunch of shit going on. So again, things that happen when you're on the road and you don't expect it. The, we didn't expect the this. The cool did we? thing is we picked up an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so we got an hour to go find some shit. We'll get another hotel and then go find some beers. Bow. What are you doing? Checking out the view, homie. Holy cow. We got some gas stations, some freeways. It's actually super nice out here, though. I'll tell you what. It beats a college dorm room <laughs> converted into a hotel, so. Well, I, I can't believe that actually happened. Like, yeah, that's wasn't kind of fault. Right? No. You look at the website. It looks exactly <laughs> like... A beautiful hotel, but we're here in Kamloops. Look at this valley. Yeah, buddy. All right. The food came. I mean, I gotta tell you, this is a roasted red pepper soup, cream, insanely good. Where are we, by the way? Uh, we are at Romeo's Kitchen. Kitchen. In what city? Kamloops. Canada. We're in Canada. <laughs> I have the butter chicken with jasmine rice and naan, and it, I 
And cheers. Cheers. And I have the half chicken with lemon potatoes and a little bit of yummy sauce underneath. And cheers to this delicious puree, passion puree drink that we also needed. Cheers. I got the pepper soup and the half chicken. I gotta say, I took the soup and it's great, but I think I fried my vocal cord. <laughs> well, you're still talking. <laughs> yeah, so maybe it does still work. But this is awesome. Probably the best soup I've had. Mm. Wow, I, got the pepper, I got the pepper soup too, it's looking good. And I got some poke, like a poke bowl. In Kamloops. In Kamloops. I've been looking forward to some sushi, and this is the closest thing to it, so. My beer is empty, but cheers to you. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We're eating now. What a surprise. I'm what are we doing? I'm throwing, what are these things called? Tomahawks. Tom? Tomahawks. Uh, hatchets. 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 Childproof tomahawks. Yes. <laughs> Watch this and learn. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. She's finding a rhythm. She's <laughs> finding it. Yeah. <laughs> Four to five. <laughs> there it is. Bullseye. I'm going to pretend I know what I'm doing. Well, we're going to close it out tonight here in Kamaloops. Had a great dinner. Uh, looked over the valley. Incredible. I think you have a speech you want to give. Well, I don't know about a speech. Just a feeling of what today was like riding with you guys. How fun it was. Yeah. You know, you're through this river canyon and you're on a two lane. And then right next to you is a train track. And then there's a river. And that's three passageways that you can take to get through there. And so I just like to look at that kind of stuff and go, wow, it's amazing. And the river and the road and the train track all kind of follow each other. And you see that all through the country. I love it. What about the side-by-side -side track and the horses? That's pretty cool, too. Maybe there's five ways. Yeah. And walking could be six. So there it is. And it all flows the same way through that canyon. Well, <laughs> I have to tell you, so far, the people of Canada have been super kind to us. We met a couple uh, out on the veranda tonight and had a great discussion. Met Patrick from the pipeline. I mean, That was awesome. You just meet different people. But I, I know how passionate you were <laughs> about the pine cone trees uh, in Cameron. Yeah. And they're called Alamy. Alamy. And Canmore. Yeah. They're called Alamy. You thought they were dying, but they have all these little pine cones. Right. I, so I grabbed one for you, and Josh kind of ruined my surprise Where in the glove it? box. It was in there. But it's still a surprise. But I, I want to, I you know, give this to you, give you a little hug. <laughs> yeah. And say, I got you a pine cone. Well, I really appreciate that. I'm going to take that on my bike all the way home. There we go. Yeah. So, hey, let's get into bed tomorrow. Wait, 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 wait. We, <laughs> not you and we have our Jay wives Leno. here. We have our wives here. <laughs> yeah, we're not getting get some bed sleep. together. Let's what get are we some doing sleep. tomorrow? We're going to run down to Winthrop, Washington. going to be a great ride. Spend the night there. Then it's going to be over as we head into Seattle our last couple of days. So we should have a great time. So, hey, subscribe to the YouTube channel and tell your friends. we got some good stuff for the rest of the year. What do you think, ladies? Cheers. 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 Good stuff. See you down the road.